Hello everybody, and welcome back to how to build a B1 bomber, 10 minutes at a time. You know what people, you need to check out your filo vision, and check out how smooth this is, I got all this sanded primed again. I just got all my priming done over the spots I had to fill today. Got my rudder glued on. That dude is solid. I got that tube running through there and I'm going to put a piece of wood when I get it flipped upside down I could get to it. Going across this way. Down inside there a little bit. So that rudder is good. Good to go. I bet y'all thought I was going to miss that little scale de detail down there at the bottom. Oh no, I didn't miss that. And uh, she's looking good. Works good. I'm just going to leave my bottom. I ain't going to cut it loose yet. I'm going to wait to get back. We get back from dives. Not cut that loose. I think I got the servo problem figured out. Well, I've been doing Bondo and sanding all day. This top is looking pretty good. Remember them lugs that was up here? They're gone. And uh, around that edge, needed some filling. Around the rudder, where I glued it on. And all this had to be filled and down there. And been filling all day, people. Filling it, sanding. I got these done, and uh, they look pretty good. I need to touch them up here in little places. That was just my first coat of Bondo on my seam. I'll have to hit a couple places. And a little more sanding on them, and uh, didn't quite get all done I wanted to, but. That's alright. Got my canards on. Got them painted or primed. Got them stuck on pretty good. I've got a couple carbon tubes running into this and drill holes and uh, they're mounted good. And this side too. Tomorrow now I'll be ready to flip this upside down. I'll probably want you guys to look at that clock. Where is it? It is 3 in the morning, and I am ready for bed. No, I am not drunk. <laughs> I am tired, people. But I like those canards. They look cool. They look cool on there. Bam! Won't be long, people. It's going to be painted, sitting on wheels. Give me another day, so I'll have this shot. A stab shot. We'll get there. We'll get there. If anyone wants to come over and help me sand, come on. <laughs> Bar Thursday. We'll just call it Thursday. Call it Sand and Thursday. Butch, sharp pencil, come on up for a visit. <laughs> I, I got a sand block for you. Well, she's looking pretty good. Remember that lug that was in there? That's gone. Got some places around here. Got them filled. I can see them on top here. Man, I've kind of been battling that all along. I got it pretty good now. You can't see it. But, you know, I sanded this whole thing with 220. Then I just, uh, the primer, the spots I've been filling on, ain't no need in, in uh, priming this whole fuselage every time I'm filling a spot way over here, you know. So I'm just kind of spot priming, you can see where I went in. I can now just go over this whole fuselage with 600 and that'll be ready to paint. I gotta flip it over in the bottom. I think the bottom ain't gonna be too bad, there ain't gonna be a lot of filling down there. It's just my overspray when I painted my uh, Bombay doors. 
I know I'm going to wish I would take them off when I go to sand and <laughs> uh, it shouldn't be bad. I'll hit it with some 220. I'll hit it with some 600. I don't think the bottom is going to be too bad. So tomorrow, here's the plan. I'm going to flip this over and get my neighbor over here. We're going to flip this thing over. I'm going to get the bottom. Good. I'm going to go ahead and paint the bottom and clear it. Before I flip it back over. Then when I flip it back over, see, so yeah, I think a couple hours I could have that fuselage uh, sanded on the bottom. And then I could actually paint and clear coat the bottom, flip it over, paint, and clear coat the top. Bam! Fuselage is done. While I'm doing that, get go ahead and get them done. Yeah, get my two stabs done, get my fuselage done. That'll leave my wings in the cell. And uh, I already got a lot of the filling done on my nacelles. I might just make this crazy deadline. I might just make it. It's looking good. It's looking good. I'll try to make some more movies tomorrow, people. I was going at it so hard today. I didn't even hardly stop for lunch. I mean, uh, stopping to rest every now and then. And I was soaking wet with sand, with wet, with water from wet sand, and Bondo, and I was just busy. I'm hoping y'all will just understand. But when I get, I don't think I'm really going to be able to detail it pretty very good until I get back from Dias. Then I'm going to give y'all a lesson in weathering. And, uh, you know, show you guys how to do it. But when I get, um, there's been a couple people asking about my primer again. Now that is just my. Transtar urethane high build primer. I love that stuff. I get it at O'Reilly's Auto Parts store. But uh, uh, and then it has a hardener. It's not a lacquer. It's a urethane, and it's a high build. Dries fast. Sands awesome. Don't clog up your paper. And uh, it's not stuff. Ain't very. Ain't, I don't know. Time it gets thinner and everything, it's 100 bucks for a gallon. But a gallon to do a big old plane, you know, you don't need but a quart for most planes. But that's about it, people. I ain't even gonna load this video till the morning. I'm going in there and I'm going to bed. I don't wanna have to wait for it to load. So I'm gonna give it to you tomorrow. Ah. You know what I mean? There, Vern. Know what I mean there, Vern? <laughs> well, that's all I got. And I'm tired. So, uh, I'm going to cut this video a little short. Thanks for tuning in for some Bobo Vision. And uh, we're going to hit you guys with some more videos. And can't wait till we get to Dias. We're going to make you guys lots of videos here. I'm going to make you guys Buku videos. This camera holds tons of memory. It's got tons of memory in it. I can go out there and make a hundred movies, I bet. <laughs> but, uh, I'll hit you guys with some more movies this week and, and uh, show you some of the painting steps. Painting's pretty simple. But I ain't gonna, I'll do the weather and when we get back, I'll show you guys how to do some weather. And uh, we'll do it when we get back. I think I'm just going to be lucky to get everything painted. And uh, we'll see. We'll see how we're doing on time. I think if we have a day off, I mean, if I get a day, get this done, I'm going to take a day off before we go to dies. <laughs> but anyway, thanks for tuning in, people. Ha, use this whole 10 minutes. Tune in tomorrow. Same Bob time. Same Bob station. This is a drama free zone. This episode of Bob TV was broadcasted in Philovision.